Good evening and welcome to Night Prayer. I hope you're okay. I hope today has been a good day for you. And I hope that you've come here tonight searching for a little bit of peace at the end of the day before what might be a busy weekend for you or what might be the end of a, of a busy week. To, this week has been um, interfaith week, it's still interfaith week. And um, so I thought this evening's prayers, we could um, take prayers from different faith communities as um, our prayer practice this evening. There is a, a quote from uh, Mahatma Gandhi, like the bee gathering honey from the different flowers, the wise person accepts the essence of the different scriptures and sees only the good in all religions. I think for myself, working in a, a multi-faith, multi-ethnic, very diverse uh, workplace, um, this is definitely something that I've come to see over the years, the richness of other people's faith and belief. And so hopefully that's something that we'll share this evening. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be known as the children of God. But I say to you that here... Love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you, to those who strike you on the cheek, offer the other also, and from those who take away your cloak, do not withhold your coat as well. Give to everyone who begs from you, and of those who take away your goods, do not ask them again. And as you wish that others would do to you, do so to them. O oh God, lead us from the unreal to the real. O oh God, lead us from darkness to light. O oh God, lead us from death to immortality. O oh Lord God Almighty, may there be peace in celestial regions. May there be peace on earth. May the waters be appeasing. May herbs be wholesome and may trees and plants bring peace to all. May all beneficent beings bring peace to us. May all things be a source of peace to us and may thy peace itself bestow peace on all. And may that peace come to me also. Peace and universal love is the essence of the gospel preached by all the enlightened ones. Forgive do I creatures all, and let all creatures forgive me. Unto all have I amity, and unto none enmity. Know that violence is the root cause of all miseries in the world. Violence, in fact, is the knot of bondage. Do not injure any living being. This is the eternal, perennial and unalterable way of spiritual life. A weapon, howsoever powerful it may be, can always be superseded by a superior one. But no weapon can, however, be superior to non-violence and love. God judges us according to our deeds, not to the coat we wear. That truth is above everything, but higher still, is truthful living. Know that we attaineth God when we loveth, and only that victory endures in consequence of which no one is defeated. Know that we attain God when we love, and only that victory endures in consequence of which no one is defeated. We pray to God 
to eradicate all the misery in the world, that understanding triumph over ignorance, that generosity triumph over indifference, that trust triumph over contempt, and that truth triumph over falsehood. Be generous in prosperity and thankful in adversity. Be fair in thy judgment and guarded in thy peace. Be a lamp unto those who walk in darkness and a home to the stranger. Be eyes to the blind and a guiding light unto the feet of the erring. Be a breath of life to the body of humankind a dew to the soil of the human heart and a fruit upon the tree of humility. Like the bee gathering honey from the different flowers, the wise person accepts the essence of the different scriptures and sees only the good in all religions. Amen. So the traditions from which we had prayers this evening were Christian, Baha'i, Hindu, Jainist and, it's very difficult to say, Zoroastrian and Sikh. And I think that um, hearing the words of those prayers, there, um, there is a lot which unites us. And a lot which we have in common and a lot of our our goals are common that search for peace for knowledge um, the search for God to be people of light to others and to help those who need help so I hope that you found that interesting and useful and that it helped you find that little bit of peace this evening. You may have noticed that there's lots of events that uh, information about events that have gone on the St Michael's Facebook page this week. There are lots of exciting things coming up for Christmas. We're still having to do things a little bit differently than uh, pre-Covid but there's still lots of ways in which you can join us at St Michael's to celebrate Christmas this year. So have a little look, see if there's something which um, which sounds enticing and come and join us and celebrate this Christmas and in this time we've got Christmas. Um, and of course there, there will be Midnight Mass and the Christmas Day service and lots of other things around that. Um, so yeah, I hope this weekend um, is okay for you. I hope that you find some time to rest. And for those of you who have to work or have other commitments this weekend, um, I pray for you in those things, in those commitments, in all that lies ahead of you. For those of you going through a difficult time, I pray that um, you feel surrounded by God's love. And I pray that for each of you, in all your circumstances, in the good and the bad. And I pray that you have a good week ahead, and I look forward to joining you again next Friday. Good night. <laughs>